Good morning, friends. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Uh, this situation about what's going on in our national parks, and as uh, many of you mentioned in the comments on the video I did, is uh, something that's been going on for a while, but the report uh, just got released uh, there at the Pentagon, some of the conclusions that they're finding, and of course, some of the new issues that we're facing right now. Uh, I put on the screen for you here this pentagram that was on Google Earth that was found, a mysterious one over, I think it's in Kazakhstan is where this was uh, discovered at. I only put that up there because I'm going to speak about that as well. Uh, it is, the subject is much deeper. I know quite a bit about it, but finding evidence that I can share with you to really bring this out is very difficult. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to, talk more about it this time here and uh, share this with you and and maybe I'll do a second video once I can get some more information put together um, and, uh, and and get that out as well uh, so I am asking for your help in finding this I can tell you what I know that's going on and then perhaps uh, you may find local information uh, or, or something you find on the internet that supports this information. Uh, as we know, and many of you guys already mentioned here, David uh, Polites, uh, and I don't know, David, if I pronounced your name wrong, please forgive me if I do, uh, but he is noted by the Pentagon as the most accurate when it comes to these missing persons. He's actually been called a thorn in the side of the government because the government's trying to keep a lot of things covered up, and this man has done a very brilliant job, from what I've been told, of uncovering that information. Uh, he is accurate on his information that it is uh, extraterrestrial type of entities that are involved. Uh, in, in our analysis, I shouldn't say our, but in the government's analysis on the information, uh, this is a completely different type of creature. I know the the idea of the Kandahar giant has come up, and I actually did a video just recently over on Patreon, only a, a week or so ago, about the Kandahar giant because we are experiencing those types of giants up in the state of Washington around Mount Rainier. Uh, and up there, we've engaged with them as well. Uh, we didn't lose any soldiers this time around. They are becoming very hostile. There are there is a cave there that we were doing some uh, investigations on for minerals that we discovered by satellite. And that's how we ran into those giants up in that area there. But right now we have three hot spots in the United States. Uh, Yellowstone is one and uh, the Grand Canyon is another. And the third, of course, uh, it's not been permitted to be disclosed, but it's in Colorado. Uh, I'm probably more along the idea of many people saying uh, Mount Roosevelt Park is being that place where the other, uh, the other um, location would be in regards to the incidents that we are having happening right now. When I say incidents, there's a case in Russia that we've reopened an investigation on to try to, to learn more from it. Because what happened in Russia back in 1959 is exactly what we are seeing happening here in the United States in the national parks. Uh, it is satanic ritual sacrifice. Now, Russia, their investigation never at the uh, uh, Dyatlov Pass, they never concluded that it was something like that. They did look at it as a possible animal attack, etc. But there was a group of eight tourists when missing in the Russia's infamous day of tough pass where nine people died in an unexplained circumstances in 1959. Uh, and what happened to those nine people it seemed it apparently it seems that they, they were they were on a skiing trip uh, and something happened during the night they all ran out of their tents etc. Uh, some of them not even with their clothes on uh, they were found as far as far away as a mile away from their tent some of them weren't found until after the snow melted off, but there were several that were that were found. Uh, but that's a monument that Russia put up for those uh, uh, the people there that that, that, that died. Uh, Dyatlov Pass, you can see that right there where it is in Russia, as far as on a map. But it says investigators later discovered their frozen bodies, many with missing body parts, others naked, some with 
inexplicable injuries leading to decade-long conspiracy theories that persist to this day. What is known of that fateful night is that you're all uh, polyanthenic students, seven men and two women, had made camp for the night at the foot of the Kolotatic Sayal, the Dead Mountain, is what it's called there. Uh, this is that group right here that they're talking about, the nine people that went missing there. Uh, but in the course of what they discovered about these uh, guys here that died, uh, some of them were, their tongues were cut out and their eyeballs were, were completely taken out. This is exactly what we are seeing that is happening with the with some of the bodies that are being found uh, in Yellowstone, uh, in uh, Colorado, one of the national parks there, and as well as in the Grand Canyon. And there are other places that these things are happening as well. Um, we have sent in the military, uh, and this is one of the reasons why currently they're not disclosing what's going on at the Colorado National Park or which national park it is because we actively have military on the ground there trying to figure out what's happening. Um, the situation, as I said, is satanic. Uh, outside, I think it was in Yellowstone, outside the caves in Yellowstone, um, there was discovered a pentagram that the only way it could be described, it was tattooed into the ground. Um, and there, it was not, it's not done by anything that is earthly uh, instrument. So, and of course, the government has never seen an alien type creature that practices satanic rituals. But that's the one thing they're finding. They're also finding animal sacrifices uh, that are going on at these locations besides the humans that are, that are going missing or being killed. Uh, there is a major, major government cover-up on this. In fact, speaking of Yellowstone, one of the things that was brought to my attention is that we always hear about lava underground and putting the pressure on and, and at any moment it could blow, etc., which I was told is totally not the case. That's all being said and done publicly as a way to keep you from knowing what's really going on. Uh, Yellowstone has a massive underground network of these caves. And these creatures um, that come up out of there, they've been, they said they're similar to what you would call a Bigfoot, but they're not a Bigfoot. They're, they're like a cross between a human and a bear is kind of like the one idea that they give. And we have engaged in combat with them. They are uh, multi-dimensional type of creatures. Uh, and they say bullets are totally useless. Knives, once again, seem to be the weapon that, that, is, that, that will, is the best weapon to be used. A knife, a sword, a dagger, anything you might have. Uh, that seems to be the, the best bet you have against these creatures. Because when they go to traverse the dimension, the bullet just will not touch them but the knife seems to be what will. Uh, so I want to make sure you're aware of that as well if you happen to be going around anywhere. Uh, I was told too that the, 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 we, there were, not our military, but park rangers have been killed by these creatures, uh, especially uh, Yellowstone. This is where we, we were told that they were killed. Uh, the Men in Black, as they're so famously called, as we know the movie made, Men in Black, we do have a group that is called the Men in Black. They are CIA uh, officials, and they have visited already the park rangers, and they have been told, um, you don't say anything about what's going on. Uh, it's considered a top secret uh, agenda there. So we've deployed the national uh, troops in the national parks uh, because Americans are being ritualistically killed. That's literally what's in the report there. Um, in, in government reports, uh, David Pilates is mentioned. So David, uh, I'll show you guys who David is again. Uh, you are mentioned in those reports. Uh, and David is an advocate for missing people in national parks. Uh, so that was another thing that I was told that he was, uh, his, his name is in the reports there. Uh, we've had 
in one particular incident, and this may be something you guys can help me find, maybe an article about it. I've not been able to find it as of yet myself. There was a couple where their heads were cut off. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Colorado or Yellowstone, either one there. Uh, and again, tongues are, are removed, eyes are, are gouged out. Um, and, and the complaints that we're getting on these issues are from Yellowstone, Grand Canyon, and Colorado. We know that there is an alien presence on Earth that live in the tunnels on the Earth, which these places all are synonymous with caves and, and extensive underground networks of tunnels. And we don't have any idea how deep these things go or how far they go. You know, it's even been suggested they could go all over the planet for all we know. But they're not entrances to the inner Earth. That's one thing that's important to, to take note of. Um, the... Let's see. The oh, there's one other thing about these these creatures. They actually, although they're type of they're hairy, they do have on their body a bluish type of tattoo that they actually have on their bodies. Um, and let's see. Oh, and also too, the people that are going missing in these areas are being abducted by aliens. Uh, that is something that they have been able to determine from the, uh, the investigation that, that we have done on this. It is extraterrestrial entities in these parks that are taking these people. And one of the reasons you got to keep in mind is because when you're dealing with these national parks, um, you're dealing with more remote type of areas. And the fallen angels, as, we, as I would call them, certainly have far greater accesses in places like that. Um, Yellowstone, there was no need for external light in the caves there. The walls were glowing a lime green, and that was happening from the crystals, something that they had never seen before, but the crystals were, were pulsating. And uh, I know that the gentleman I spoke with about this information here uh, was uh, in Antarctica. He was supposed to be on one of the missions there. Luckily, he was not because we ended up having a leak on the um, on one of the generators that was a nuclear power generator that ended up causing a lot of his colleagues to develop cancer and stuff, radiation poisoning and stuff. Uh, but they noticed the same thing in the caves in Antarctica, that the crystals on the wall... Uh, you didn't have to have a flashlight or anything. They would pulsate like a lime-colored green light on the cave walls. And that's what's happening at the cave walls in Yellowstone right now. Uh, so, again, what I'm trying to do, I, there's quite a bit more information still yet. I'm just kind of highlighting this a little bit for you guys. Uh, and also, I wanted you to be able to see this. So I'll put the link. I'll put, of course, those of you that don't know David uh, Pilates, uh, which I did, I did not know of him before myself, and yet he's so well-known. Uh, Canem Missing Project is his YouTube channel there. So I, I, I really look forward to listening to more of what he has to say, and I'm hoping that he'll reach out to me. I'd love to interview him about this, and also I can disclose more information to him that may help him in his quest. Um, so, you know, I, I wanted to be able to put this all together and just kind of put everything together in a nice, neat package for you guys, but again just not enough information as of yet and uh, and I still have more information as well that I'm going to put together so it looks like it may be Sunday or even Monday before I can really put all that together for you. Uh, we discussed a lot of other things too. We'll be talking about that Russia, uh, the situation going on there. In fact, Yana, we're doing part three with her on Sunday. Uh, this video right here, wow, what a stunning video there by Patrick Lancaster. Uh, Patrick is an American uh, that's been there since before the, the war uh, started in Ukraine in 2014. And my wife, under, uh, you know, she speaks Russian, so she understands everything that's being said here by the people. <clears throat> and there's multiple different people in there speaking about how that not the Russians, but the Ukrainians were bombing the buildings and everything in Maripol days before the Russians made it up there. Uh, being threatened by the Ukrainian soldiers, you know, if you don't leave, you're going to die in the buildings, and and uh, they would park in between it. I mean, what a unbelievable amount of propaganda! Uh, not this, this is not propaganda, but that, that that they're preparing for. 
they're going to blame it on Russia and say Russia did all this and this is why. So you know, it's, it's really sad, really sad. Uh, but we'll be doing part three there, so hopefully that'll be a blessing to you. Also, too, uh, wishtv.com, channel eight, uh, they spoke about the asteroid coming in. I'll talk about that. Uh, probably end up doing that over on Patreon there, but I'll just kind of give you a little idea there. The CERN mission, CERN mission to create a greater magnetic field to protect us from asteroids actually worked, and Indiana was one of those examples. Even though they heard that huge sonic boom um, over over uh, Indiana, uh, they, they the scientists knew that it was a meteorite, but nobody saw the meteorite or anything. Well, I, I did find out that that was a result of the experiment with CERN. I told you these things would not be big enough to cause a big issue, but it did deflect it, and of course it blew up as it tried to come in. So uh, their CERN mission was a success, I was told. So we'll go into that a little bit later as well. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. God bless you and have a 